All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone around the world. This is the Master Teacher S. And today we're going to go over some new type of uh, course. Today is going to be a survival course for basic French. If you want to go to any speaking French speaking country, you can use that to survive. And we have a panelist He's gonna let us know what is his name and why he wants to learn French. So here we go. Hello, bro. Hello. Yeah, can you tell hello, us your hello, name? Hello, hello, hello. Uh -huh. What's your name, bro? Yeah, my name is Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, so Sam, what do you want to learn French? Yeah, I, actually, I really want to learn French because um, I'll be traveling to Canada in uh, in, in a few weeks. All right. And uh, I want to know, you know, mm -hmm. the, bas the basics. In French, so that when I go to Canada, to use that, right? Uh, I can be able to use that some sure, kind of sure. survival. Okay, cool. survival French. <laughs> have you have you ever learned any other languages apart from French? Mm, no, I think the only the only international language I can speak is um, English. Okay. Uh, yeah. And what's your background about French? Do you, did you have some? Well, back back in the days, I had some basics when I was in junior high school. Okay. Um, Actually, I wasn't really serious with it, so sure. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't uh, uh, make it up in that. So, can you tell me what do you remember, like from all the words you've learned in French? Do you have any favorite word that you can remember up until now? Yeah, okay. In, yeah. in French, in French, I remember some some words uh -huh. like oui, <laughs> and some uh, uh, je yeah. ma je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. Yeah, je m'appelle. Wow, that's that's uh, really nice. Uh, that's à la maison. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> that kind of okay. Yeah, so sorry, guys. <laughs> my French is really, really bad. That is okay. That is okay. Yeah. So, so that's what we're gonna focus on. Actually, um, this course is called the survival course because basically I'm just gonna give you the tools. Okay. Because in every language, I believe, because I can speak more than three international languages like yeah. French, yeah. Chinese, um, English, and all. But also we have like back, like local languages home as well so basically uh, uh, learning languages can be a little bit tough if you don't know where to start you can be confused and for the most part there are some ways that you can get to adapt to any new situation for example in your case you're gonna be going there and basically you have few time to learn all the basics that you need yeah. but you can learn the essentials which are called in this series, uh, in this series of, of course, uh, the survival French. Okay. So, according to you, do you think there are like um, most important words in any in any language that you want to learn that you think somebody should learn before? Maybe like two words that you think that these ones is the first word that you should learn in any language you want to learn. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I think we should know. I should be able to know, or uh, anybody trying to, you know, be a starter, you know, mm -hmm. you know in, in languages. I yeah. think we should know those kind of like, like what's this, what's that. What's this, what's that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's those, right. Those basic stuff we should know. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great, great. Yeah. That's right. Because definitely, if you can say what's this, what's that, if you go to the market, for example, yeah. you can go for shopping yeah. and say, oh. Mm, I want this or this please yeah. that please yeah. or if you want to go maybe a car driver for you the car uh, for a car to get you to a certain place yeah. you can just have the address and say this place you yeah. shouldn't be like I but the guy will know definitely that, that you're going there yeah. so we're gonna start from there so but in in English there is this and that right yeah. but in French this and that could be say in a single word, okay. generally, because Reno French has different um, varieties of of situation. Like according to the context, mm -hmm. according to the situations, it changes. But in general, this and that could be said in one word. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write it down here, and I want you first to give it a try. Okay. Since you have some French basics, mm -hmm. so you're gonna try to read this word and let me know how it sounds for you. How did you know that it's that? No, I just, I just guessed, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely, you know, these little 
It's like a pregnant woman here. This okay. is the thing. Okay. It makes the C sounds. Oh, S yeah. The C sounds. S like C D. Okay. It's called C C D. This one is uh, in in English it's C, but in French it's called C. C. Yeah. Okay. C. If it if there wasn't this pregnant woman here, this yeah. little, uh, you know, mm. it should have sounded a bit like. But this C, yeah, C. sounds C. for the CD. The, C. This is called CD. CD. So this is a C that, CD. That thing down there looks like five. It looks like five or like a pretty woman. Or yeah. anything kind of yeah. but this is called the CD. CD. And uh, CD. whenever you see that in a, in a letter, it yeah. gets this oh, sound. Okay. Yeah, so, and uh, with the R, it sounds very much like in English as well. So okay. this is sound. Sound. So this and sound. that sounds. I'm gonna write this, this, okay. this, or this or mm -hmm. sorry here, this okay. or that mm -hmm. is sa. sa. Okay. okay. So this, this that is your sa. first word. Okay. And I think also if you if you learn a new language, I think you can also learn something like uh, please. Okay. For example, if you want to say this, please, just yeah. to sound a little bit polite. polite yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or that, please. Yeah. Uh, do you know how to say please in French? Please, yeah. please, please. Tout le monde? Tout le monde? Tout le monde? Tout le monde means all the words. All the words, oh, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. so basically. Uh, uh -huh. I'm gonna write it here because I want you first to like I want to see how because this is my first class with you. Yeah. I want to see how you can uh, guess because definitely in some words in French you don't need to know uh, the correct pronunciation. You need to guess mm -hmm. by practicing. You will get familiar with how sh the word should be pronounced mm -hmm. because unlike in English, there are a lot of words that are not pronounced like consonants are not pronounced. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit. Um, but I just want to see how your intuition works with words. That's why I want you to read first before I can read it for you. So I'm going to write some words here for please, and I want you to read it for me. Okay, so here we go. But okay, this is just um, we can remove this mm -hmm. this one. So C will play great. What do you notice here? We have this S here in English. I guess you should have say like maybe uh, vous mm -hmm. and plate. Mm -hmm. So this vous plate. yeah, <laughs> the, the T is a consonant. The S is a consonant. Both of them are not pronounced in French. Okay. Whenever like some of the words that end with consonants in French, you don't really have to pronounce them. Okay. So this one goes si vous plaît. And the A I here sounds pl -e -plaît. Si oh. vous plaît. Oh, si okay. Plaît. Now would you like to try with me? Yeah. If you want to say, for example, um this please. Si vous and what is this? Civil play. Careful. I say this, civil play. Uh, oh. This, please. Sorry. Oh. Uh, remember? Sa. Yeah. Civil play. Very good, yeah. So, sa, civil play. Or, si, si, si. yeah, good. So, but then there's one more thing that you need to learn. In, in French, we have this kind of. Uh, up and down kind of yeah. thing with the feminine yeah. energy yeah. and uh, the masculine energy. Okay. So whenever uh, something tends to have a connotation of the feminine side, yeah. we use a feminine yeah. uh, because, like I told you, yeah. sa is for this and that in general. in general. But if something is specific, this one is for boys. Yeah. This one is for uh, okay. for girls. You have to use different things. For example, they believe in the French language that coffee is for boys. Mm -hmm. okay. 
So it has like the masculine connotation here. Okay. And for masculine words, to say this, you're not just going to say sa, because this is a specific thing. Mm -hmm. We are going to say su. 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 Yeah. Su. It's, it's actually written like this. Su. Si. Su. I. Su. 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 Yeah. Actually, si also in French has different um, pronunciations. Mm -hmm. su. And uh, it could sound ka sometimes. It, it, it could sound... Uh, just s, or if you can't let the, the say this mm -hmm. like this one is sir mm -hmm. yeah so this is sir for this in the masculine way mm -hmm. and we also have this in the feminine way mm -hmm. feminine way for example uh, water water you see the water is like a mummy vibe washing you or whatever the cycle is but the point is that s, uh, water has the feminine connotation mm -hmm. and for things like water we don't just say sal water we say if you want to be specific on a demonstrative level to point out to something you would say this water but in French it's going to be different it sounds C E T T E can you give it a try? <laughs> okay, okay, do you know how to count from one to, to seven from um, in French? No. Can you count from one to five in French? One to five? Yeah. No, I forgot. Okay, that. good. But number seven in French is set. Set. Okay. Yeah. This one also sounds like set. Oh, okay. Set. Yeah. Set. 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 Yeah. set. 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 Very good. So basically, sir, remember, sir is for the masculine and set is for the feminine part. Okay. And whatever, if you want to say this, for example, this coffee, like I told you, this coffee, it's, how would you say? It's, it's, it's masculine. Yes. So, sir. 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 Do you know how to say coffee in French? Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, coffee. <laughs> sir, cafe. Sir. Café. And um, café. yeah, I'm gonna write the words for you here. Cafe. Cafe. Yes. Okay. You okay. see okay. this. Uh, okay. There is one accent in in French. Mm. This one is called, you know, when it's like the like with the Chinese tones. Yeah. Uh, there is the like the third tone that goes. No, the third one is. Uh, mm. This is like the second tone. It's mm. something like this. So whenever you see a, a let like a letter with yeah. these uh, tones yeah. on top of it, in French this one is um, called accent aigu. You don't need to remember this word, but it's called accent aigu, and it goes a bit like up. 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 Yeah, okay. that's why we say café. Oh, café. Yeah, café. Okay. No, so café. Uh, so guys, café. guys, please, you, you guys need to help me out, okay? It's my, all right. My French is really, really bad. No, so. it's it's okay, man. Mm. Any guys, any, anybody that knows how to speak French, you can help me out. Okay? Basically, you're gonna have to survive in Canada as well. I, did, so, I have to yeah. survive. You but know, you know, this thing. My survival French. This thing, this thing, basically, you're gonna have to put up with it okay. with time because I, I don't expect you to, to master this just randomly like that. You are gonna have to get familiar with it. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. The more you practice, them, the more you get. Even myself, up until now, it's because I grew up in a French environment and all. That's why I grasp the words. And also, mm -hmm. even at school, we're having some sort of games. Mm -hmm. Whenever you use the wrong adjective, mm -hmm. if you say maybe set cafe, mm -hmm. it's wrong. It's set because set that's a feminine. Cafe is not a masculine thing. You should say so cafe. Mm -hmm. uh, cafe, people are, cafe is a masculine thing. Yeah. It's not a feminine thing. Yeah, it's not a feminine thing. Okay. So this whole thing is like, you get used to that by practicing. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't expect yourself to just know, uh, just like that, that this is it. For me, because I actually speak French almost all the time, so basically uh, I'm, I'm just used to that. It's just like a kid, they don't know rules, but you just speak it. Just because they, they, they know how to speak it. Yeah. So, I'm just giving you the vibe for you to get to know that there is a masculine and a feminine thing. It's kind of going on with the French language. And you're going to get used to that the more you practice. But for now, we're just going to go on this and that. 
So this and that in general is sa. Sa. Okay. Yeah. And uh, on a specific level, masculine is sir, mm -hmm. feminine is yeah. um, set. Set. Yeah. So for example, like I say, this coffee you say in French. Sa. I just say this coffee. This coffee. Oh. Um, this coffee. Sa. Sa is general. Coffee is the masculine one. So. S'il vous plaît. <laughs> what is s'il vous plaît? I didn't say please. S'il vous plaît is please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. S'il vous plaît is please. But sa. 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 Sa is this or that in general. Okay. For example, if if. If I say, uh, sa, uh, uh, okay, that please, what is that? Like, I don't know what it is. Okay. So in general, you can just say sa. Mm -hmm. Okay. See the place. See the place. But yes. if I'm, I'm, I'm now showing you a specific thing, mm -hmm. this one, mm -hmm. this please. Si. Café. Okay, what? Si café. Si café. Please. Si café. Si Okay. Si so si at that point, you should say, this coffee, please, because I just say this, please. I didn't say this coffee. Say okay. This, please. So, um, si. Café. Si. S'il vous plaît. Café. Okay. Now it doesn't make sense if you just say si. Oh. <laughs> please, s'il vous plaît. But maybe I was wrong. But uh, yeah, for me, like, yeah. um, okay. This coffee, please. Si. Café. Okay, now this is what? Sugar. Sugar. Sugar in French is sucre. Sucre. Yes, yeah, sucre. Sucre. Yeah. Sucre. I'm gonna write it down here so that you can see why it's sucre. sucre. The C R the C R is cr. Oh sucre. Yeah. S U C R E. C'est sucre. Sucre. <laughs> Some, somehow. But in French, it doesn't sound You guys, guys remember prison break, right? Sucre. We have sucre in prison break. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah this sucre. Is, this, in French, the correct, the, the correct pronunciation is uh, sucre. Or oh, sucre. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think uh, the, like, the sucre should be? Is it a feminine or a masculine word? Feminine. Feminine? Mm -hmm. Because ladies like ladies like <laughs> men, we don't really like sugar. Okay. I guess I guess you guys know why. Well, you really you like you sugar. almost got it right, but it's wrong. Oh really? Unfortunately, it's it's masculine. Mm -hmm. So that is just to say to you that it, there's no rule about this masculine. Which one is masculine? Which one is feminine? Okay. It's it, it is what it is. So this is a masculine thing. So what do we like? What are we supposed to use for that? But this is universal. Say, this is masculine word. Oh, it's masculine, okay. Like I don't know how they, they, they come that they, they came out with this word mm -hmm. being masculine because that like you said, it's sweetness is for girls, they want to feel sweet. But I said it's masculine. I said it when you asked me. Did you say feminine or masculine? I said masculine. Masculine? Yeah, yeah give me five, man. Oh sorry, sorry. I said it's it's feminine, not uh -huh. masculine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Like I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. this guy is gonna twist me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sure. So you say feminine, sorry, sorry, but my this bad, my it, bad. it is masculine. So basically, we say, what do we say for masculine? For example, if I want to say, this sugar. This sugar? Yeah. Say. Sucre. 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 Prison break, sorry, sucre. 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 Yeah. Sucre. 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 Yeah, but what if I want to say, uh, ce sucre, s'il vous plaît. Ce sucre, s'il vous plaît. Mm, what does that mean? Sh sugar, please. Yes. This sugar, please. Oh, this sugar, please. Good. So basically, what you have to learn is that sir is for specific words that uh, has the masculine connotation. Okay. Like, ce café, s'il vous plaît. Ce sucre, s'il vous plaît. Yeah, but then um, let's learn some feminine words like water. For example, water. What do you think water is in French? How to say water in French? Water. Mm. Mm. 
G. É? Quatro irmãos, isso. GV. GV, é. Yeah. GV, GV. É? Yeah. GV, isso. GV, C. Café. Great job. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I want this water, please. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, ooh. oh, oh, okay. Um, G, V, mm -hmm. G, V, O, oh, s'il vous plaît. There's oh. something missing. This. Oh, je veux. Je, je, je veux. Je veux. Ce. Ce is for masculine. Water mm -hmm. is a feminine. Je veux où, s'il vous plaît. Je veux où? What is où? Vous avez où? Je veux. Je veux. What this? This. this. How to say this je in the feminine version? Je veux ça. Set. Oh, it's set. Set, 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 set. Yes, yeah, ça is for general things. You, you, you don't want je, a specific thing. Yeah. Okay, set is for feminine. Yeah, je veux. And then ce. It's for masculine. Yes, yeah, so masculine. je veux. Ok, je, je veux, je veux sept, s'il vous plaît. Sept what? Je, je veux, je veux, je veux sept cafés, s'il vous plaît. Sept water. Oh, oh, oh. Je veux sept eau. Je, je, je veux eau. Oh. Je veux, je veux sept eau, oh, s'il vous plaît. Yeah. Je veux okay. sept eau, oh, s'il vous plaît. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, I think you get it. You really get in the point. You get in the yeah, point. Yeah. So, um, I think we can stop here for today because I think you know. First, mm -hmm. when you get used to this idea of having a feminine and a masculine yeah. type of kind of yeah. uh, thing, it's gonna help you for you to learn more. So, okay. for today, just remember that we've learned we have, we have uh, three things. Three things. Okay. First, the general saying of this and that is sa. Sa. Okay, that's the general place. Yeah, yeah. That's general knowledge. Yeah, sure. Sa. Yeah, of the one with the pregnant. Yeah, this is the, the CD. Like five. The CD yeah. The yeah. Okay. And uh, if you want to be so. specific with specific objects, mm -hmm. and every object in French has its own connotation. Mm -hmm. If it's masculine or feminine. feminine so. If it's masculine, it's ce. Ce, masculine. Yeah. If it's uh, feminine. feminine, it's set. Set. Yes. Set. Yes. And if you want to say. Set. If you want. C E T T E. Yeah. Set. Set. Yeah. It's pretty much the same um, the same pronunciation with the, the number seven. Okay. Set is also set. the same thing with the, yeah. In so French, in French. Set, set. set, set. set. There is a same pronunciation. And also, set. if you want to say I so, want something. So, so I is je, je I want, want le, le, je veux. Yeah. Say things in in French, and you have to say 
the correct words, like the correct sentences in English as well. But then I'm going to say some other uh, sentences in English and then you say it properly. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, oh, I think I didn't teach you though. Uh, because I need to teach this one. If you say je veux, and how about I don't want? Okay. Je... Okay. There is like the Chinese ku. No. It's like ne pas. Ne pas. Okay. But then when you put what ne pas means no. No. Yeah. No. But then if you want to use that in a sentence. You're going to say, je ne veux pas. Oh, je ne veux pas. Ah, je ne veux pas. Je, je pas. ne veux pas. Ok. I don't, I don't want. I don't want. Je, yeah. ne, veux je ne veux pas. Je okay. ne veux pas. Ok. Je ne veux pas. So, um, I say French, you say English. So, je ne veux pas ça, je veux ça. Je ne veux I, pas ça, je veux ça. I don't want je this. Je ne veux pas ça, yeah. I don't want that. Oh, I don't je ne veux pas this. ça, je veux ça. I don't want this. I don't want. Je veux means I want. Je ne veux pas means I don't want. Uh, what did you say? Je, je ne veux pas ça. I don't je want ça. this. I want this. Yes. Good, good, good. Je veux ça. Oh. Yeah. Je ne veux pas ça, je veux ça. Listen, listen, hey boy, boy. Listen. <laughs> okay. Now, um, je ne veux pas cette peau. Je veux cette peau. I don't want water. This. I, I don't want this water. I don't want this water. Again. Je ne veux pas ce taux. Je veux ce taux. Ah, ce taux. Yeah. Ce taux. Cette Oh, basically, oh, so when you speak, you know, oh, it's a set to. Oh, but so to. So to. Oh. Je I, veux pas I ce don't to. want this water. Uh -huh. Je veux ce to. I want this water. Yes. Okay. I hope you don't follow that trend. I don't want. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, je veux ça. Comme ceci. I want this. Comme ceci. Comme ceci. Ok, let's say, je veux ça comme ça. I want this. And I want this. Ok, this is the learning. Ok, so I want this, I want this. You try a little bit. Comme ça means like. Oh, like I want this. this. Comme means like. Okay. Comme I, ça means like this. Oh, I want this like, like this. this. Okay, comme ça, like this. Yeah. So listen now. Je veux ça comme ça et non comme ça. I want. I want this. Like this. Et non comme ça. And not like this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A means end. And, and I want no, to say end. Yeah, and no means no. So I want this, comme si, uh, comme ça, it's pretty much the same thing. It's like, okay. like this and like that. Comme si, comme ça. Mm -hmm. Or you can say comme ça, not comme ça. It's all it's the same thing. Like this, and there's an expression. For example, if somebody asks you, how are you? Mm -hmm. If you want to say, I'm so so, you say, um, je veux comme si, comme ça. Je veux mm -hmm. comme si, comme ça. It's like, I'm so so. Comme ça, comme si, it's very much something. So, um, okay, un café s'il vous plaît. Un, un café, un café s'il vous plaît. Yeah. Is, 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 I want this coffee, please. I just say, oh. un café s'il vous plaît. Is okay, this, okay. Is, is this, this coffee? Is this coffee? Is, uh, is this coffee, please? Okay, let's, let's, uh, let me make it better. Ce café, s'il vous plaît. Ce café, s'il vous plaît. This coffee, please. Good, good, good. 
Okay, now let's give it a try. Just two sentences. I'm not gonna say in English and then you say in French. Okay? So I don't want this. I want that. Je n'ai pas. <laughs> no, I don't want. I don't want this. I want that. Je ne veux. Euh, je ne veux pas. Pas. Je ne veux pas. S'il vous plaît. Ça. Ça. Yes. Je ne veux pas ça. Yeah. And I then, want this. I want that. I don't. I don't want this. this. I want that. I want that. Yeah. Continue. The ça is for this and that. Ça is for this and that in general. In general. Okay. Yeah. So that's why you say je ne veux pas ça because okay. we, we, don't, we don't know what is that. Yeah. yeah. If, if it's going to be this, we can say je ne veux pas ce café. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying in general. Je ne veux pas ça. Uh, I don't want this. I want mm -hmm. that. Okay. How do we say that? Again, I, I don't want this. Uh -huh. I want that. I want that. Je, je, je ne pas. Je, je ne veux pas. S'il vous plaît. Je ne veux, je ne veux pas. Ça. Ça. S'il vous plaît. I don't want this. I want that. Oh. Oh. Je ne, je ne veux pas. Je. Je veux. Je ne veux pas what? Je, je ne, je ne veux pas, je ne veux pas ça. Je, 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 want je, this. je veux pas. <laughs> I want, I want. I want. No, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> I want, je, I want, je, je what? Je, je veux, je veux, je veux, je veux yeah. pas. S'il vous plaît. Je veux, je veux. Ça. I want this. I want this. Je ne veux pas. I don't want this. Okay. Now, V O U S. V O U S is vous. You. You. Oh, je je V I U X. Je veux. What? V I U S X. Je veux. Yeah. V O U S is vous. Vous. You. Yes. V I U X. Je veux. Je veux. Want. Yes. Okay. Now, but let's. Je veux. Ça. Yeah, je veux ça. Je veux ça. Yeah. Because if you go to a place and there is that contradiction, yeah. you have to be able to say, this is what I want, this is not what I want. Mm -hmm. Just to make it clear. Okay. You don't have to talk too much. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, the last one. Um, un café, s'il vous plaît. No, I changed. <laughs> You're supposed to say French. You're supposed to say French. Say, I will change it. Uh, <laughs> this water, please. Si. <laughs> this water, please. Yeah, this water, please. Si vous plaît, what would you see me for? Okay, this water, please. Mm. Uh, C okay, you can start. C you can start with C C O set. S yeah. Set. Set. Set O. Simple. Set O. Simple. Yeah, good job. All right. So we are the end of our lesson today, and uh, this was the first class. I believe at some point, you know, this is it's normal. Like actually, you do well. You know, yeah. it's quite confusing yeah. from you to get into this environment. Of, uh, so and uh, said it's a it's, it's a whole bunch of things. Yeah. So this basically, this is my first time I'm taking you know survival French lessons. You know, first ever. Yeah. In my life, you so, know, so we're gonna continue through through I this. Hope, I hope to scale through though. Yeah, we're gonna continue through this same perspective. But the idea that I told you is just for you to be able to be able to survive. Like right. for example, what we learned today, you can use it if you wanna go to grab a car, a taxi, or any sort of transportation method. Mm -hmm. You just tell them uh, this please or that please mm -hmm. um, you know you just tell them okay ça s'il vous plaît they will take you to the place where you're going okay. they, will, they might understand that you don't speak much uh, 
French. Or if you go to the market to do for shopping, you can also use the same thing. You find what you want. If um, definitely at this point, like I told you, if it's a general thing, you can just point your finger there, ça, s'il vous plaît. Or if you want to be more specific, je veux ce maybe uh, ce café, je veux ça, s'il vous plaît. Yeah. And uh, yeah, basically, like these these words, I think, in any language. If you want to learn a language, if you want to travel abroad, you might need these because at some point these are the survival uh, kind of things. Because I've also traveled abroad or many countries and definitely I'm just sharing my experience with you. What I think you might need the most. So basically we're gonna go over with more, but now just remember the se and sa for the general, se for the masculine, and the set for the feminine. And the words like water, o. Set O, café, ce café, and je veux, I want. And also, if you want to say maybe like this, like that, comme si, comme ça. Je ne veux pas. Je ne veux pas ça. Je veux ça. Yeah, I want this. I don't want this. I want that. Or if you if someone asks you how are you, comment tu vas, you say comme si comme ça, like this, like that. Yeah. So basically, we just using uh, ça for now, just ça for now. But you can already start to use that on the street and express yourself, because what you need is to be able to express yourself. When you learn a language, it's not to impress, just to be able to express yourself. You don't have to know all the words see chinese people they cannot they cannot really express themselves because they learn languages to impress at some point because they got to be able to speak all the english words but if you learn the language just to be able to communicate to express yourself that's it you, you need uh, this and that you can go and expand all over it so thank you very much and uh, see you thank next you time. So much. Thank you Guys, so much. Guys, uh, we're going to see you next time. Thank you. Don't forget thank to you, subscribe to the channel. And also, if you like the content, hit the like button and leave a comment below so that we can know how to adjust the class. If, we, if there are some suggestions, don't forget to, uh, don't hesitate to put them below. And yeah, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. So see you next time.